Formerly a renowned boxer, Mike Tyson had to part with an extraordinary mansion due to a series of personal financial challenges. Under Tyson's ownership, the mansion boasted five bedrooms, a full-size pool and jacuzzi, tiger cages, and a basketball court adorned with crystal chandeliers. The opulent residence full of gold-plated fittings and Tyson's name on the imposing gate was sold in 1999 for $1.1 million in a state of disrepair. Now transformed into the Living Word Sanctuary Church, this once neglected house sat untouched for a decade before becoming a symbol of worship and communal unity. The old fireplace has since been turned into an indoor waterfall while the four bay garage is now classrooms and a nursery. The tall steel cages where Tyson kept his famous four tigers have been dismantled for a pavilion. Boxer Mike Tyson had to part with an epic mansion in Ohio due to a series of personal and financial challenges. The one who proclaimed himself the baddest man on the planet once resided in this expansive property. However, the former heavyweight champion, plagued by controversy and financial difficulties, was forced to sell it back in 1999. The opulent and somewhat dusty and neglected mansion has undergone a metamorphosis into the home of the Living Word Sanctuary Church. Under Tyson's ownership, the mansion boasted five bedrooms, a full-size pool and jacuzzi, tiger cages, and a basketball court adorned with crystal chandeliers. The sprawling residence featuring gold-plated fittings and Tyson's name on the front gate was sold in 1999 for $1.1 million in a state of disrepair. Now transformed into the Living Word Sanctuary Church, this once neglected house sat untouched for a decade before becoming a symbol of worship. The church's pastor, Nicholas Diasimo, humorously remarked on the overgrown property, stating that the grass was tall enough to be sold for hay. Extensive modifications have been made to align the mansion with its new purpose. The neglected swimming pool has been repurposed into a sanctuary, and the living room now serves as a gathering space for churchgoers. Despite these changes, reminders of Tyson's era still linger, such as the preserved basketball court. Other things, not so much. The old fireplace has since been turned into an indoor waterfall, while the four-car garage is now home to classrooms and a nursery. Notably, the large steel cages that once housed Tyson's famed tigers have been dismantled, making way for a pavilion in their place. Now, that's not the only former Mike Tyson property with an interesting history. In 2003, when Mike faced bankruptcy with reported debts of $22.9 million, he had to part ways with his cherished Connecticut home. The estate, featuring an astounding 52 rooms, including 21 bedrooms and its own nightclub, was another claim to Tyson's extravagant lifestyle. Facing financial issues, Tyson sold the property for $4 million that year, a bitter reality for the former heavyweight champ. Rapper 50 Cent stepped in, purchasing the mansion for $4.4 million, setting a record for the most expensive home sold in Farmington that same year. The 50,000 square foot residence boasted 25 bathrooms, an indoor pool, a hot tub, an indoor court, multiple game rooms, a green screen room, and a recording studio. As you enter through the stately front gate, a lion statue welcomes you and the opulence continues inside with a marble floor and double-sided wood paneled staircase. The master bedroom offers a scenic view of the garden landscape featuring a steel staircase leading to another level with a massive walk-in closet behind glass doors. Ensuite bathrooms showcase a bathtub overlooking the gardens and glass door showers. Designed for entertainment, the mansion includes outdoor and indoor basketball courts, pool tables, a game room with poker and roulette tables, and even a nightclub. Adjacent to the outdoor basketball court, a pond with an elaborate water feature and guesthouse adds to the property's allure. Despite its grandeur, the mansion faced challenges in sales over the years, with a rapid decline in value due to high running costs. After being on the market for a whopping 12 years, starting at $18.8 million, it was eventually sold in 2019 for $3.1 million, marking an 84% price drop. The buyer, reportedly US businessman Casey Asgar, who owns several fast food businesses, secured the property with its unique history. 
These days, when Mike Tyson isn't in the boxing ring, he relaxes in a relatively unassuming Las Vegas residence he's owned for the past six years. After Tyson's significant setback in 2003 when he declared bankruptcy due to a staring $23 million debt, he said goodbye to those epic properties we looked at. So this mansion is modest in comparison. Over the years, Tyson reportedly spent $300 million on various homes, cars, jewelry, and even pet tigers. Tyson acquired this six bedroom, seven bath estate in 2015 for a humbler $2.5 million. Situated in Henderson, Nevada, just a short distance from Sin City, this property stands as the exclusive real estate owned by the baddest man on the planet. Although still very spacious compared to your average American home, Tyson's Las Vegas estate doesn't quite reflect his past status as a half billionaire. The average celebrity home is valued at around $20 million. Nestled on nearly an acre in the upscale Seven Hills neighborhood, Tyson's home boasts an expansive 10,400 square feet. The property includes two casitas with one functioning as a complete apartment. Noteworthy amenities include a media room, a wine cellar, two grandmaster suites, one on each floor, a disappearing edge swimming pool, spa, outdoor kitchen, and an extensive covered patio. The Italian style residence is characterized by its custom iron railings, arched doorways, covered ceilings, floor to ceiling windows, stone fireplaces, marble flooring, and a marble staircase. The gourmet kitchen is equipped with Thermidor stainless steel appliances, a sizable island with breakfast bar and custom cabinets. As we can see, Mike Tyson's real estate journey reflects the highs and lows of a legendary career marked by immense success and financial challenges. From the pinnacle of earning over $400 million during his professional boxing career to facing bankruptcy in 2003, Tyson's property ventures show that maybe there is such a thing as too much. Tyson's real estate journey also shows the unpredictability of fame and fortune, highlighting the importance of strategic financial management, even for Mike Tyson. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and be sure to answer this question for me before you go. Which one of the over the top features in Mike Tyson's first two former mansions was your favorite and why? Let me know in the comments and hit subscribe so you never miss a video. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.